to find the Leaf Nation, basically. It's just unwavering we're, loyalty to our sports sick, franchise. We're, yeah, we're well, sick. First of all, we're sick. Is. We're first actually of all, being sick. a Canadian, you got to love hockey. Without a doubt. Without yeah. a doubt. Absolutely. Yeah. Your number one sport is hockey. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for most you're in, you're in you're in the hockey capital of the world. As you got the uh, you you got the I would say the hockey, I would say the mecca, cap, the mecca the mecca the mecca of, of, of hockey mecca. Of, of, mecca of hockey <laughs> for Canada is yep. Toronto. Yep. Born and raised, you gotta bleed blue and white. If you're born and raised in Toronto, you gotta be a Leafs fan, flat out. We're at now 40 years without a Stanley Cup, so that for us, it's just that belief that ultimately that snap has to end so that we can get back on top. Because again, 40 years is a long time for a town, a city that's put its its you know whole, I guess, entire belief of that franchise behind it and supported it through all those years, good, bad, ugly, to be able to say, listen, we want that cup. So is it delusional? I wouldn't say it's delusional, it's because what else do you have to hang on to aside from the belief that they're going to win? Yeah. Otherwise, what's the point of even following them at all? What's the point of watching hockey? What's the point of being a fan if you don't have that belief that they're going to win? My uh, father was the head coach of a team for a long time, and I've been lucky enough that I grew up in hockey. I was, uh, I think I was four days old when I was first in a rink, so it's uh, pretty much in my blood. Leaf Nation is, I don't know if you've ever seen like a pack of lemmings all together. They seem to keep going in the same direction, no matter what's going on. That's pretty much Leaf Nation right there. Up or down, we love them, we hate them, but we still, we're right behind them the whole way. Most of my friends have, we've all been alive and we've never ever seen them win a cup. You know, it's like we're, we're of that generation where I, I, I remember working with a guy who was alive the last time the Leafs won a cup. It's like none of you guys were even thought about at that point in time. You know, even though like I wasn't one of those kids that used to play it when I was growing up, it's part of my identity. I remember when I was five, six, seven. First thing, Saturday mornings, you, you first you go play hockey, you practice. Yeah. You go play, then you have a game in the afternoon. Five thirty in the morning. Five thirty in the morning. morning you get up, going out to practice. And you, you go, and in the afternoon you play a game, and then you come home and you watch the Leafs. Yeah, but that's what I think. Hockey night in Canada, night in Canada, night in Canada, Canada is is almost a a ritual in Canada. It's a ritual. As long as I can remember, Saturday <laughs> Saturday night in Canada is hot. It's known as Hockey Night in Canada. Sums up a, a Leaf Nation guy is basically you get together on a Saturday night, you know, That's right. with a bunch of your buddies. You're all wearing your Leaf jerseys and you're watching the TV and you're screaming at the TV. Oh, it's nothing but hope most of the time because you're sitting there and you know you know when they're playing badly. You're just like, it just hurts. We haven't won a cup in 40 years. For 40 years, we're still sitting there going, go Leafs, go. And every year when the puck drops for the first time, every single yeah. person that's wearing yeah. a blue and white jersey says, it's this, is this, year. Year. This, this is the year. It's this year. It's this year, baby. Every year. time that puck drops. And we just hold out. It's, it's hope, really. At yeah. the end of the day, it's just faith that they're going to bring the cup home. That's it.